Gather here. XBL baseball starts now. It's crushed to the moon, and we're tied. Picks it up on the second. Over to first in time for the double play. That ends the inning. Mm. That's gone. It's good! To the pen! This game is over! Oh! Crush! Left field! Off the pole! Domingo Valdez! Oh no! Left field! Carrying! And it's good! That was hit hard. Left center field. Did she do it again? To the wall! Swung 
on Bell to the deep left field. Is this baby gone? A grand slam! Champion! The AAA World Series is over! What a shot! <laughs> I can't believe my eyes. For your XBL evening entertainment, we bring you two holders of silverware, XBL Season 14 and 15 Cup Champions. First off the mark, Season 14's champ, a fiery and crafty XBL veteran whose play style is the stuff of legend, having sniped wins off the league's finest competitors over the course of a lengthy and storied career. Against them, the rapidly rising and now most feared Season 15 Cup champ, whose ferocious bark is being followed by an even bigger bite after recent slaves. It is Spluto and his Baba against M. Bennings and the Dog Pound. Welcome to XBL Match of the Week. All right. Hello, 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 everybody. Sorry for the black screen on Mist. I had some issues and I couldn't get him up and going, but y'all saw his beautiful face for that great AAA match of the week between Ice and Rise and Mist is back for a doozy of a matchup we have here after Ox was not able to make it because of uh, some stuff behind the scenes he had to go do. But nonetheless, Mist, how you doing? Nice to see you again. Doing really good, Unicorn. Um... Yeah, I think we have a good matchup here. Um, it, it, just looking at their records alone, it tells us we have a great matchup here. Yeah, yeah. Both really good records, number three and four, respectively, in the standings right now. And in the XBL, we know that's really, really impressive. Something that we expect them to hold throughout the season, keep that position up there and make a name for themselves and try to get into the top four of the power rankings. But like he, like Urban brought us in the promo and let us know, both of these guys have cup championships. M. Bennings just won the last one, and right before that, Sudo was able to defeat Luke, I believe, which is a really impressive feat in the cup before that. So both of these guys have hardware. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, th they're both used to big games. Um, M. Bennings has been playing in leagues, not, not even just the XBL for many seasons, and I don't know. Spluto, I think, played all the way back in like season five or six or one or I don't know what, but um, kind of had a little bit of a break. I didn't know anything about him. All of a sudden, he came back and has been playing like gangbusters um, in his return. A very, very extremely difficult player to play. Um, and as it says on the screen, they're, they're both pitch first. I'll give M. Bennings the power. On, on the offensive side of the ball, um, but I th we have to give uh, Pluto so much cunning on the base pass and the speed, so that that's going to hurt M. Bennings. So at some point, he's going to have to punch some balls uh, either to the wall or over the wall. Yeah, like like you said, and like it says right there, both guys are really expert level pitchers. They're both somewhere between two and three ERAs right now. I don't have the exact stats in front of me, but both really solid ERAs around, around two five, I believe, and really close to each other. They're both able to do damage at the plate, but they really find their strength on the pitching. And we know that spluto has got that interesting pitching style with the curve balls and the low velo and the no accuracy build. And M. Bennings is just straight up a good pitcher. And like you said, since he's came back M. Bennings has really been, I mean, to pay tribute to his logo, he's been a dog since he's got back into the XBL capture in a cup. And then now we're off to a really hot start here this season but both these guys not only do they have really similar eras in the mid twos range they also have nearly identical runs scored per game i noticed in the stats and on top of that so far this season there's only been two home runs given up between these guys and they've both put in a good amount of games i believe it's m bennings that gave up the two but i could be wrong one of them's given up only two and one of them's given up only zero so this is as deadlocked even of a matchup as you can get and it's really really going to be a close game i think in both of them yeah yeah and that's what i keep telling some of these uh friends of mine that have moved up into the the uh, uh xbl such as yourself mr clutch dynasty you know when you're used to the triple a and dominating the triple a or at least being a higher playoff team in the triple a you, you're used to scoring you know five runs is not a good game for you probably seven or eight is kind of a good game 
when you go up against these monsters, the way they can pitch two or three runs is, <laughs> is more than they typically give up. So you, you, you have to change your outlook entirely. And these two being pitcher first certainly is the case where two, two runs, three runs in, in either one of these games could, could easily win it. Um, Spluto can get away from you with his speed. That's what's so dangerous. Um, but if M Benning can hold him down to two or less, in either or both games, I, I think we're looking at, um, I, I'm kind of predicting a split here just based on their records. I think if somebody does sweep, it's going to be Spluto, and only because I think it's, if his speed gets away from M. Bennings. Yeah, yeah, I would agree. I think it's going to be a, a split also. I think they're just way too similar of opponents in terms of stats. So then regardless of... Uh how they do at the plate like we've like we've noted that's really really tough to score runs against these guys their pitching is going to be something to watch so whenever you're in the top echelon of the xbl that's what's so tough playing guys like this because you're, you're barely going to get two or three runs but they're still putting up six on their own five or six on their own so that's what makes these guys really tough and that's why they're three and four in the standings right now so we're about to jump right into it. We're going to get that first game going between these two powerhouses in the XBL. This is going to be your week three XBL match of the week. We're going to give them the green light here in a second. We're going to switch everything over and we're going to be right back at you. It's going to be a really good matchup. So I'll see you on a minute. Okay, I'm sending now, Uni. second actually i still hear the cue music for some reason am i dumb is that just the game anyways here we are we're loading into what looks like park de janeiro's the home of the bombas it's game time at parque Hardinero. if y'all are hearing the cue music still let me know i don't know if it's just on my end or not i'm hearing the cue music i might have to get something turned off but we're gonna have M. binnings up first and we know who's gonna come to the mound zone with really low velo and really low accuracy and we'll see how pseudo is able to Work his magic on the mound, see if he's able to locate. And he does really well right there on the first pitch. Yeah, this is looking already a lot like uh, burning ice. Um, almost identical, except it's a right-hander. A lot of junk, very little accuracy, very little velo here. Yeah, and I think... Even though both of these guys are good pitchers, I think we're going to see plenty of hits between these two because they're able to put bats on balls pretty consistently. It's going to be who can convert those runs when they get them on base. That's really going to be the difference in this ball game, is what I would think. Because there's no way you're going to hold these guys under 10 hits each, I, I would imagine. And there's a pop fly. He's going to slide. Tried to do a hit and run, almost paid off. Left fielder is able to get it on a good slide. RNG doesn't hurt him, and he holds him over there. But great speed at first. Distractor as well, but that doesn't matter much for Sudo's build. And there's another one. Poached right back up the middle to Corbin Carroll. And Bennings has two on. Only one out. Yeah, I, I was going to say Unicorn. Um, just my experience, but... Uh, M. Bennings prefers the fastball the four seam fastball. He struggles somewhat with, with, with cutters and uh, two seams. I'm not sure he struggles as much against the curve ball. Something slowed down that, you know, he is a quality hitter. He oh, was a monster. oh, there you go. See? Yeah. I talked about if he could hit the curve ball or not. And he just sends one into the gap for his third hit of the game. And he's going to round the bases. We'll see how aggressive he gets. He keeps it going. It's close Whoa. at the plate and he's able to get there. And before the second out of the game, M. Bennings and his dog pound. Is putting two up on the board. 
Yeah, wow, that's a big two runs here to get started. Might grab a little more here. This doesn't have speed on second, but uh, only one down can maybe squeeze that run in. Yeah, both of these guys are very familiar with the big stage. We noted that they both have XBL Cup championships, but also have played in the league a lot. So these match of the week nerves that you might see from a newer player, you're not going to see it here. These guys are going to be ready with their bat instantly. Pokes well, might one get up down. right there. Wow. It did. Well, that's a really slow runner. Didn't even come close to running to home. Now batting the second <laughs> yeah, we all know now, now you can punch him in with any hit. Yeah. Oh, and he's there's and there another one. M. Bennings is really on top of it right now. A great start, and I think some worth noting already with one out in the game is Sudo's play style can really annoy people and get in their head. But also Sudo can get frustrated himself, and now he's down three runs before he's able to get two outs. We'll see if he's able to keep himself locked in. And once again, it's yeah. like rinse and repeat, the same hit over and over right now for the dog pound. Yeah, I was just going to say he's, he's, he's uncharacteristically losing pitches onto the plate, which is, is his one no-no. That, I mean, there's another one, even that ball. He doesn't throw pitches on the plate. There's another one on the plate. You know how sometimes you can't trap the ball off the plate? It just seems like it somehow finds its way onto the plate. No matter how much you try, there's another one right down the middle now. Yeah, Sudo with that low accuracy build, something he can pull off really well, but right now, struggle with that location, like you said. And I do think... Another one. Yeah, yeah. Another one, Sudo's really struggling, and then Binnings is taking advantage of it. He put his foot on the gas as soon as that first batter stepped into the box. Yeah, and, and this is where that low v, uh, low accuracy can really hurt you is when momentum swings against you, and it just becomes impossible almost to trap balls. That's why, you know, the really, really top players like Lazy, once they get momentum, they'll kill you because any pitch that you mislocate is going to get green. Yeah, and like Zlat noted in the chat, he's got five runs right there. He's able to get the third out, but he batted all the way around. That was his two-hole hitter back up for the second time. Got eight hits there in the first inning. Sudo's going to have to come to come to the plate and put some work in. And he's got that bunter, and he's got Sprinter engaged also. Mm. Solid bunt down the first baseline, but not able to get there. Yeah, and, and Benning's lucky that was the first baseline and not the third base because he definitely would have had no play over there. He'll almost got there, though. Not not a bad play by Spluto. That shows you he's he's still thinking here. He's down 5-0, but he, he's, he's hell-bent on getting back into this game. Yeah, Sudo is someone who's very, very competitive. We know that he likes to grind out his games and play with the best of them, so I don't think him being down 5 is going to be something that is going to take his mental out of it this early. I think he knows there's plenty of time left, and he trusts himself. And he's got a pretty juiced lineup because of the money he saves from that pitching staff. So he's able to put up big runs. And Bennings is going to have to locate extremely well, and obviously has with this pitcher so far. 0.9 ERA so far in the season. Yeah, I can't think of anybody in either league other than Spluto. I mean, typically, if someone's running a speed lineup, whether it's Burning Ice or Rise or whoever, um, you know, they're giving up a lot of power or a lot of contact. Right. And Spl Spluto doesn't have to do that. He has real hitters. I mean, this might as well be Mist Inc. out there, except everybody's juiced up to 90-plus speed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and while we were discussing over there, he hit, he hit into a double play to end that last inning on a... Pretty weak located fastball up high. But now he comes back. Now batting. And pitching wise, he's able to get two 21. outs really quickly. Webb really struggled on that first inning, but looks to get back on track here. But that one's deep center field. Corbin hmm. Carroll's back. It's not going to have enough almost to the warning track. And there's a clean inning, and that's what you need if you're the Bombas. Don't let the lead stretch anymore. You're in the second inning. Jose Ramirez comes up to the plate. And Beagle's already locked in on the mound for the and Bennings and another good shot to right field. Outside pitch was engaged. Yeah, and, and, and the big problem here for the pound is it's so early. And you know, Spluto, he just he just needs a little moment. There we go. A little single. Looks comfortable at the plate. 
That's not an easy pitch. That's a great location on that changeup bottom corner, and he's able to take advantage of it still. You can see the good reticle on it. You know, I'm just noticing here, uh, Uni, I'm, I'm sure you would agree. Uh, season 17, this is something I don't think anybody else other than myself has probably noticed. This is like the year of the forkball because of the price on pitches. I swear every pitcher I faced through 20 games has a forkball, whereas last season there was maybe two pitchers all season that had a forkball. <laughs> just because everybody's got five pitches, you might as well just chuck it on there, right? Yeah. The, so the, the number of, I mean, you, you can only use two screwballs. Right. So so people are chucking forkball on there, just figuring, well, it's you know, why not just chuck it on there? Because I've already got my four pitches I really want. Yeah, and that's what's really, really fun about this league and the way that the roster tool gets moved around is every season you get introduced to a new type of gameplay and the way they made the pitches cheaper on the roster tool this season. I, I agree, there's definitely been a lot more forkball. Sudo right there was able to hit a gapper and score a run, and then he had a sacrifice to put two across. So now he's within three. Game's still really, really young. Webb's still on the on the mound, looking to get another shutdown inning. That one's a blooper, might be trouble. Ramirez is able to get there though. Yeah, that's a monster two runs, Uni, because it is so early. Five is daunting, no matter how early it is. Three is really not if it's early and you've already proven that you can push a few runs across. Yeah, and it's it's hard to even get much conversation in here without something happening. These guys are playing really fast right now. They're swinging really early, and they're making good contact with the ball. This looks like it's setting up to be a really, really fun game here for the first XBL match of the week for week three. Yeah, and this is a little bit of a difference between AAA, which we saw earlier with uh, Rise and Fall and, and uh, Burning Ice having such a, a, a really great series. But one of the big differences is these XBL pitchers, they know that you can't throw the ball 20 feet outside and nobody's going to swing right. at that. Um, so you see, you do see a lot of action quick um, as they'll be aggressive, but they'll be aggressive within reason of the strike zone. Yeah, definitely a mutual respect all the way throughout XBL. They know you're not going to get chases on those silly pitches way out of the zone. He does chase right there, but he's got a hit and run he was going for. Kind of swung mm. because he pushed the runner through. And now back-to-back -back innings of shutout baseball for the Bombas. And they come back up to the plate after putting up two. He's going to keep Logan Webb in. Struggled on the first, but he's done good the last two. And he's able to help himself there. That'll help the mojo get back to neutral, I'm sure. One of those signature match of the week pitcher hits. They seem to always come about. Yeah, you love to see that. A lead, a lead off pitcher hit there. And now he's going to bunt. bunt. He's got Sprinter. It's going to be close. He is able wow. to get there. And that lead off bunter, we're going to see him do that nearly every time he comes up. Sudo's really mastered that bunt play. And now they're Yeah. Yeah, I mean, oh, boy. Is, oh, wow. Oh, boy. We're about to have some action right here. This could, this could be a really big swing of the bat and really take the lead on one swing here. Brian Reynolds, bat ball hitter too. A really tough player to pitch to. Fork ball hits the pitcher oh, in the nuts. Boy. He's not gonna be able to get him at wow. first either, and uh-oh. Oh, and it goes from bad to worse on basically infield baseball. Look at this juice batter up, and now the pitcher's rattled and you gotta face this guy. The Bombers yeah, looking in good shape after struggling in that first <laughs> inning. Oh, no. <laughs> Able to put one away, but almost back-to-back -back pitcher hits. And not with the bat. Almost back-to-back -back with the ball. Yeah, and Sudo will be aggressive here. Oh, he takes there. It's a big spot early in this ball game. We're seeing him bendings. He hasn't been able to get anything the last two innings, and now the Bombas have a chance to take the lead on you here. And he does, he's going to tie it up at least as he hits that one to center field. He's got a lot of speed. Holds him at the corners, and we're all tied up 5-5. Five, five. we got a high-scoring game, a really fun one here to start. This is great. A real switch up from the AAA where we saw a lot of pitching. These guys are really swinging the bat. Oh my, oh, he beat it out, wow. 
A slow toss to the second baseman really cost him right there. Now Sudo takes the lead and then takes second base on a good time steal. And everything's all bombas right now in the third inning. Another steal. Yeah. Wow, some lollygagging from the dog pound here. Not really crisp right now. Got a rattle pitcher, never helps. Sudo really exploring all avenues of his game. We know he kind of plays with everything the game has to offer, and he's able to do that this inning and push across, what, four runs? Yeah, four runs and takes the lead. Action-packed first three innings going into the top of the fourth now, and Bennings now with the pressure on him and down. Ropes that one, but second baseman. Good contact. Fielder, number 27. Pitcher back to neutral finally. Another good swing, but it's not going to produce anything, and that's what that curveball does. You're only going to find, I think, Sudo's only got 18 strikeouts on the entire season through a decent amount of games. He's going to be a pitch to contact guy, so M. Bennings knows he's going to have pitches to swing at, but that curveball is so hard to get velocity on off of the bat. Uh oh. Attacking upper end and it pays off. He's able to get another clean inning. And if you're in Bennings now, you know you really need to stem the tide. Sudo was able to come back and reverse the momentum. Now you've got a rattled pitcher. And you get the back end of the lineup. This is a good opportunity to get your pitcher settled back in. Yeah, this pitcher got out of the inning, so I think if he can get one out here, can probably get back to tense, which right now would, would be <laughs> a pretty big... Rattled is really bad, I can tell you. Rattled will get you killed. Yeah, so far, both of these guys have doubled each other's normal ERAs by putting up five and six this early on. The pitcher had a .9 ERA coming into the game. He's already up over three. Ooh, good location there. Tough out engaged. Three and two. He's swinging at anything. Game stuttering. Hopefully that's just my stream. Good fork ball there. Just th just threw his timing off a touch. Still gonna keep still rattled though. Mm. He's still locating well with that accuracy down. And Bennings is definitely a master class pitcher. I have no doubt that he can get this pitcher back to tense and then neutral, even though Sudo's been batting really well. And here's that bunner. Corbin Carroll's done it once down the third baseline. We'll see if he lays another one down here. And he does. he does. It's down third, but not as good this time, and he's not going to be able to get there. And now the dog pounder able to shut down the Bombas for an inning. And we're going to the top of the fifth, still a one-run game. Yeah, that 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 was a huge, a huge a half inning there from M. Bennings just to get back onto a zero uh, after after a couple of tough innings. Yeah, and if you're M. Bennings right here, you've got to figure out how to get some runs manufactured, at least get some base runners. He does not have base runners now for a couple innings. He's getting pitches to hit. That one's really well located and not able to push it anywhere. But he's had some pitches to hit. The catcher, number 21. Got to figure out how to get a couple on and put a little bit of pressure on Logan Webb on the mound. Yeah, that eye is crucial. Oh, they'll get, look at this. Yeah. Yeah, if you mislocate against a top end XBL player, about 90% of the time they're going to take how advantage of it. And he pushes another one up center right there. 30. Seen four or five of those so far. Oh, did he call that a strike? Yeah, it seems like sometimes if the curveball is within six inches of the zone, they call it a strike on this game. That one's going to be close, and it does clip the bottom corner. A looking strikeout. I was, I was talking about a couple innings ago. Sudo doesn't get many strikeouts, but I bet most of them come by looking because those curveballs can be so tricky. And now good contact to center field and another shutdown Los inning. After giving up five, Spluto's really Boy, locked in on the mound. Really living up to now, yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, if I'm in Bennings, I need to stay positive here because, you know, when this thing started, if I was down one run in the, in the fifth inning of the first game, I'd be, you know, relatively happy with that. It, it looks bad because he had such a good start, but you're fine here. You're totally fine. 
Yeah, the momentum is against him, but I think he stemmed the tide pretty well last inning, getting that one, two, three. And now he's got a fourth one in a row out. Pitchers back to tense finally. Beagle only at 45 pitches can get through a couple more innings. If he's able to pitch well, a missed dive over there at first, and that speed's going to be plenty. Really, any drop dive on the infield and nearly the whole lineup for the Bombas is going to be able to reach. And now right back to rattled after one batter. Yeah, that that hurt a lot. It was a, it was a tough play, though. I mean, you can see him bobbling that. Yeah. yeah, that was a rope over there to first baseman. I'm sure he's got low fielding. That one might fall. That's going to be a trouble. Uh -oh. A little dinker over there to right field. He's going to push for second as he throws to first. It's going to be a close play. Here comes the Spluto Diddle, something he'll do on you. And we've got things going on every side of the base pass right now. And Spluto's wow. able to get out Did of it, it safe. <laughs> I think there was, a, there was a piece in there where it looked like M. Banning's had it. But somehow Spluto being Spluto able to wiggle out of that one. Exactly. Spluto being Spluto able to... Sometimes for a lot of players, that'll turn into a double out for you if you're not careful. And oh, it yeah. seemed like his oh, runners yeah. kept his speed and he's able to keep them both safe. And now that opens up an opportunity for him to do something here because Yandy Diaz is juiced at the plate. We'll see if he subs in a righty pitcher here. He's got, now pitching yeah, number that's a good move by M. Bennings. Power lefty and contact lefty is disengaged now. That one's hit well. Center field, it's uh -oh. gonna be a sack fly. Yeah, too much speed. And, and there's where that diddle, it, it, it handed yeah. him a run. All right fielder, exactly right. Juan Soto. Swings out of the zone for Juan Soto. Rare chase. The Bombas have been really good at keeping the zone tight through five so far. And the score reflects that with seven runs. Slider on the edge and able to get the out after the diddle. Gets the Bombas a run by messing around enough and keeping both of them safe. The lead is stretched out to two. We're going into the sixth inning now. And Bennings has been quiet at the plate. He's looking to make some noise. He hits another one well, but the curveball, it's just so difficult to do anything with. Brought in the pitcher for, I think, two batters and now looks to go I would get some runs. That pitcher. Uh, I don't know what he has, but that seemed like a pretty good pitcher to have in there. A uh, sixth inning doesn't need a ton of juice out of his bullpen, but in a close game like this, you got to have extra innings in the back of your mind and think about that bullpen depth. Now batting that is the beauty five. of us adding the SPRP, though. You can go a little bit longer in your pen. And now Spluto is going to look to bring in his ace. I mean, M. Bennings, I'm sorry. He's looking at... Oh, okay. I'm confused. He was looking at who's up. Yeah, he was just look okay. Here we go. Is that a pitcher hit? Oh, it's a misplay. Got an extra base out of it. Only one down. That that could be pretty big. Now batting. Yes, Gotta squeeze this run in scares. one way or another. Yeah. Try to produce something here, and that's there what good is. XBL players do. He is able to produce something here. He puts one over there to left field. And that misplay out there in right field just cost it a run. And that's how it seems like this game is going. Every little thing matters right now in such a close game. Everything in the field has really turned into a run on one side or the other. Uh oh. Weak curveball. Look at that speed on first. He does have a cannon arm catcher, but low arm strength. He does steal. He's going to go for it. Got the cannon arm in. It's this. Oh. Yeah, that's the struggle of using cannon arm with your catcher. If you don't throw it properly, that can be a lot worse than that was right there. Center fielder was able to snag it. Wow, that's big. And we have an injury, and it's the shortstop, a key position. Mm. And now he's walking people. Now Looking back. to set up a double play ball here, I would imagine. 19. Catcher lost his mojo, and there's good speed on first again. Might get active over there. Good pitch. Not too far out. Oh, oh. caught it. Oh. oh, and he gets oh. it in time. Oh, that hurts. The butt, as Dwayne said in the first game, just dreadful. Another pop-up. Turned oh, into a double hurt. play off of a bunt. 
That was even worse than game one because he got the runner on third base there. Hmm. Yeah, what a huge play for the Bombas right there and really gut-wrenching for the Dog Pound as you seem like you're starting to get something going. Try to small ball something across and it turns into a double play and really just by a step. You almost lived to fight another day. That catcher yeah. was able to rope it over there. Yeah, this is a good reminder to the kids out there. Don't don't bunt. Get the ball. Never bunt. Never bunt. Yeah, the only player I ever even think about bunting with is my pitcher. And even then, most of the time I don't because I'm so bad at bunting. It's really a skill to have. And Spluto's definitely got it. Couple of cutters in there in the zone. Great Dane is the strongest reliever in this bullpen. He's gonna need some length out of him, but he starts with a walk right there. Or he got the first out of them, walked one. Look to see how aggressive M. Bennings is here with the pitching because he subbed that other reliever out already. Mm -hmm. And this is his yep. best reliever and it's a one run game, so. I would look for him to be aggressive here. Yeah, it. Uh -oh. oh my. He might get the double play here. Wow, that's brutal if you're pseudo. My oh my, the bunts are going wrong on all the matches of the week today. No success, and once again, like Miss said, do not bunt. Yeah, don't bunt. Step up and send that thing to the outfield. We want to see some hits. Number <laughs> 11. We don't care if he's 0 0 on the contact power. It's match of the week. You've got like a 50-50 shot with your pitcher. You know the chances are up. Yeah, I got a hit just today against Rise on a, on a pitcher with zero and zero. Yeah, nasty slider on the outside. And we do have a new pitcher. My fault if he was in the – I do believe he was in the last inning. Yeah, at 10 pitches already. That's a weak curveball. It's going to find the zone. And Bennings Ooh. hits it deep center field. Another one going back to the warning track. But once again, the curveball – you can hit it all you want, but it's going to be really hard to get out of the yard unless you're hitting it left or right. Center field is yeah. nearly impossible. Yeah, yeah, and th this is a this is a deep stadium, especially into the alleys. It's extremely deep into the alleys. Um, a good choice from Spluto to use the stadium. It, it, this is a very good stadium for him. Yeah, Pseudo with a great team builder and a really nice stadium choice to complement it. Here comes the slider on the outer edge. It's hit well. Reynolds is going to be there over there in left field, though. And a quiet inning for the dog pound after putting up one in the sixth. Here comes that bunner, Corbin Carroll. We'll see if he lays it down for the fourth time, but we've got some lag. Yeah, I'm thinking bunt here. Um, th this pitcher for uh, M. Bennings is, is a total monster. Great Dane could finish this game um, if he can keep his pitch, uh, pitch count reasonable. And if I'm in Bennings, I'm still like I said, I'm not down. I'm a, I'm down one run here. I'm excited. Can still take this game against a tip tip top player, possibly the top player in the league right now. If you just look at record, another bunt laid down perfectly over there. Yeah, and I think if M. Bennings is going to win this game one, he's only scored one run since the first inning. I think he needs this pitcher to last him, and he needs this lead to stay at one. Definitely no more than two. If he's going to have a chance. We haven't seen the power displayed from either team. I don't think you're going to see it because of that curveball use from the Bombas. Yeah, yeah, mega speed on first. Extreme speed over there. Hasn't taken off yet, but is just waiting for an opportunity. 3-1 count. Here comes the pitch. It's a little bit outside, and it's going to end up having a chance. And he's going to get a double play here as an aggressive base running decision from Spluto oh, wow. trying to steal some bags, hoping for a drop on the slide. We've seen uh, a lot of unconventional double plays in this one. Yeah, I can't imagine running on that play. That's not a play you typically would ever run on. I mean, it did have a chance to drop, but you just don't run on that. There's the fork ball. It's located well, but it's deep right center field, and Jack Russell is able to grab it. Plenty of hits towards the warning tracks in this game, but nothing's left the yard. A home run for the dog pound could put this game even or take the lead. Yeah, Pseudo did M. Bennings a favor there. So now M. Bennings just needs to dig in at the plate. It's not going to be easy. 
Yeah, get late in this ball game, eighth inning, and that's the way you want to do it. He gets a leadoff single. He's got the back end of his lineup up right now. We'll see what he does with that pitcher coming up. Oh, he's at the front. Yeah, we'll see what he does with his pitcher coming up in the next at bat because of the fact we talked about he's used that bullpen early. Yeah, big speed on first, could even take off. And he does. Oh, that he catcher's went. arm could be a problem. Didn't appear to be a good jump. Might have got bailed out. That might be why he swung. Oh, another Ooh. looking strikeout. You can't blame Come him, though. No, that one's perfectly picture. placed on the Number corner. Great Dane comes up to the plate, and he decides to keep him in. And the hit and run does not pay oh. off. Another double play ball here. Both sides getting timely double plays. And now we're into the bottom of the eighth. We're still at a one-run game here in your first game of the XBL match of the week for week three. Yeah, that would have been a monster hit right up the, almost like directly over the bag. And it ends up being a double play. And now both teams would lead off singles to start the eighth inning. Pluto was able to shut the dog pound down, keep that lead runner from getting anywhere. We'll see if he's able to manufacture one across here. Swings on a bad pitch on the inside. And once again, a double play, Ooh, a bad throw, yeah. but snags it over there at first. And with wow. every little thing mattering in this game, that might turn out to be important. Yeah, um, the cagey old man over there with the long gray hair came up with quite a dig. 22 pitches, stats are waning a little bit now for Great Dane. That'll help, he's able to get out of it. Now we're gonna be in the ninth inning in a one run game and the dog pound gotta convert at least one run right here. Yeah, yeah, one B flashing leather, two plays in a row there, gives the number dog pound 31. a chance. Now batting, number 16. He did sub in his reverse splits pitcher in the last inning, so. Half of the batters might be a lot weaker. Pops that one to center field. That's gonna be the first out as long as he is able to take care of it, he does. Now we've got some good batters. We've got two, three, four coming up if he's able to get to them. Chase is a little bit on the curveball. And now we're down to the last out. But one swing can send this game into extra innings. Hits it well, Soto's able oh. to get there. Another good hit to right field, but the Bombas after being down five to zero in the first inning, are able to make the comeback early and then hold the lead. And that's a really good game one. Both of these guys played it close exactly as we'd expect. Yeah, yeah, we, we got a little more offense than we expected, um, but it it didn't really seem like it came down to the, the big offensive swings as much as it came down to a bunch of goofy, tricky defensive plays and, and kind of overreaching on running and things like that. So it, it was a pretty exciting game, the type of game you would expect for sure from, from Spluto. Right. All right, we'll let these guys requeue up. We'll jump into the preview screen for a minute, and then we'll be right back at you with the second game, and hopefully it's as good as the first one. We'll be right back.
All right, everybody, we're back for game two of the XBL match of the week. That first game produced us a one a one run ball game, three and four in the standings. You would expect no less, and it seemed like every little mistake, every little diddle, every little RNG issue in the fields had an impact on that game. And that's how these games play out when it's two evenly matched opponents like this. I, I would assume that we're going to get another tight one right here. Fielder, number seven. Corbin. Now at the home yep. stadium of your dog pound. Yeah, a bit of a smaller stadium. Um, that right field wall is extremely close. Um, it is tall, but you can get a lot of hits off the glass over there. Attempted bunt doesn't happen, but um, second baseman, number four. We got a little more offense than we expected at the big park. Would be interesting to see how the small park plays here. Yeah, definitely a big change up in the ballpark. We didn't see any home runs in the last game, but they were both able to make good contact and send a couple to the warning track. I'd be surprised if we don't see one or two ding off of that right field wall. We've got Golden Retriever on the mound. Not quite as good as the last starter, but still very respectable stats. Good velo, good junk. And that five-pitch arsenal with the double-moving fastballs. But Spluto's able to handle it with a couple of singles here after failing on the first batter to get the bunt down. Now batting the third base, number 21. Okay. Easy Look jumps is not really what you want against Spluto. I, I can tell you that right that might now. might be the worst trait to have on against this guy. RBI Hero is engaged and already a big opportunity to produce runs here in the first inning. We saw that in the last game. The away team really jumped on him. Bomba's looking to do the same and spits another one over to the left field. The bases are loaded now with one out. Yeah, gonna, gonna have to find Golden Retriever's gonna have to find some kind of a ma magic here. You know, giving up a run on a double play here would probably be ideal, unless you can come home to first. Oh, boy. Blooper over there, and it's going to score two. It's going to push a guy to third. He's going to hold him at first. He's got runners on the corners. And just like last game, we're seeing runs oh, in the first inning first before the second three. out. Number two. There's the steal, and the easy jumps is going to be a problem all game, I'm sure, for Golden Retriever with all the speed up and down this lineup. Another one poked over there, and because of the steal, it's going to give him an opportunity to go home. Jack Russell's got too good of an arm, though. Three runs on the board now with only one out. Pitcher is tense already. Weak changeup, but he's able to get him into the double play. So Pluto did enough damage that that's not that big wow. of a deal. Able to put up three on five hits in the top of the first. Yeah, that that's still a huge wiggle out, though. Um, yeah, that, <laughs> that starter just is not ideal against Pluto. We're going to see the very familiar starting build for Spluto here with that low velo. Going to see a lot more curveballs just like last game. And Bennings made good contact on him. It's about finding gaps when you're going against a pitcher like this. Shorter field, but still not able to get it past the warning track. And now there's two outs. Number 19. We need to see a, a slightly better eye from M. Bennings in this one. Uh, wouldn't you agree, Unicorn? Ch chased, wasn't chasing that far out of the zone, but was chasing often enough that it, it really hurts you against these accurate pitchers that can, can throw low velo at the corners. Yeah, and I think the real difference from the first inning of that first game on is Spluto really struggled with that location in the first inning. And ever since he's been able to hone it down, and then Bennings has been able to, or not been able to take advantage of the pitches that do get left over the plate. He's going to have to, though. Already down three. Golden Retriever gives up a leadoff single again. Pitcher comes up. The steal goes for a hit and run. Back to first, and here comes Corbin Carroll up to the plate. See if he lays down a bun again. And he does down the third base line. It's well placed. Is he going to be able to get him at first? No. And that's what wow. Corbin Carroll does for the Bombas. He's able to lay down the butt and get one on. Number four. Luckily for the dog pound, the slower guy is ahead of the base pass. 
all that speed, going to be tough to get a double play. He's smart enough, he takes him out at first, and now there's two outs. Bad ball hitter, Brian Reynolds. Golden Retriever really needs to get out of this and get this out right now. Oh. Nope. And another run for the Bombas and Spluto. Batting, the third base, wow. number 21, Jose Not Ramirez. the end of the world if you can squeeze out of here. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure Spluto's going to be able to really rack up the steals this game. Golden Retriever could be coming out sooner rather than later, not only because he's struggling on the mound, but because of that speed and the fact that he's able to take all these extra bases. Walks Jose Ramirez there with the RBI hero, but with this juice lineup, you've got Juan Soto right behind him. Already two RBIs in the game, 15 RBIs on the season. It's interesting that base is loaded. That doesn't even move the bar up to number two for, uh, for pressure. Yeah. Able to poke another one, and that's oh, that all hurt. we've been seeing this game right now is the Bombas are able to poke things into shallow outfield. It's produced six runs early on. This is getting sketchy for the dog pound, but he's able to put that one away. Three and three to start off for Spluto. Really, really good start after taking game one by one run. He's got this one blown wide open already. Yeah, yeah, and, and it's a lot like the first game where M. Bennings jumped up five to zero. The, the one thing you have going for you is it's extremely early. Right. Yeah, and that's the thing with these top end XBL players, they can easily put up six runs of their own. So being down early like this, you're very much in the ball game still. And we know M. Bennings is plenty capable of doing better than he's shown on the mound so far in this game. Surprised Saludo didn't die for that. Saludo <laughs> likes to do the cheese infield dives. There's a dive. He's got speed. Oh, He's good speed. play over there at short, the diving grab, and then gets him out at first. Dog Pound does get their first hit of the game, but they're going to need a lot more than that, and they're going to need Golden Retriever to really come in and have his first shutdown inning. Yep. Six runs is way too close for a batter like Spluto. You don't want this to get into run rule territory in third. Good decision by Spaniel. You can't dive at that ball. It didn't look like he was going to get there, but somehow grabbed it and made the play. Yeah, one of those plays where a dive would be safe, but whenever you're a veteran and you've played enough time in the league, you're a lot better at judging when you have an opportunity to just reach it without the dive, especially with the speed that he's got in his lineup. It makes it tough to get anybody out on an infield dive. Pitcher sends one right field. The wall's Ooh. tall, but it's hit well, and it's, it's way up there, and it is gone. We've got a pitcher home run now for the Bombas, and they're tacking another one on. Wow, big swing there from the pitcher. Yeah, we talked about the shorter stadium and that tall wall. No problem for the Bombas and that pitcher. He's able to float that one way up in the air and reach the second row of those bleachers. We've seen our first home run of the XBL match of the week. Now in another inning of getting at least one across, seven through three. And then Bennings has to get something in this inning. The way that the Bombas are batting right now, this might be your last opportunity. Yeah, they, they need to pour their entire effort into offense right now. Got to got to sh uh, shrink that strike zone. And there it is. Good play. Forced a pitch that he could handle and punched it up the middle. Yeah, a good job being patient right there. Just doing what he could with the pitch he got. Going to keep the pitcher in here. Wow. Trust himself to get another inning at the plate, I imagine. Golden Retriever definitely struggling so far. We just saw a pitcher home run. We'll see what this pitcher can do. And he's able to put it over there, over the, the shortstop. And man, we talk about the match of the week pitcher hits. That's three or four now in this two game series, including a home run. That is no joke. The match of the week just brings the pitcher bats out. Uh-oh. Yeah, thank you for him Bennings right now. You. You almost want to not start swinging until you see a strike. Because Spluto is leaving a couple over the plate. Not super often, but he's able to poke that oh, one off yeah. of an inside cutter. That's a good swing. 
No, Bad you gotta speed, wait. Yeah. Though. You gotta play for the big inning here. Oh, he has good speed, yeah. Number 19. Oh no, he chased. It's got it's gonna oh, be what trouble. Is oh. he able to get there? And he is able to get wow. there, and he got one on the board just by a step. Yeah, he was lucky to get one. That was uh -oh. that was a crazy decision. A weak pitch that found its way help way into the zone, but M. Benning's not able to take advantage of it. What could have been a big inning. Spluto's able to wiggle his way out of it, giving up only one run. But good to see the dog pound get the bats going right there and put a little pressure on these guys. He's got to survive this inning and get back up and re rinse and repeat. Swing the bat the way you just did. That one's hit well left field. Oh, the fastball's really well. hit from the corner. And it's over the fence. We've got another home run for the Bombas. Yeah, and, and, and this this is why I was really questioning even leaving Retriever in there. I, I don't see what the upside is on the mound. Jose Ramirez. Yeah, I would have pulled Retriever when he came up to bat, but he's just keeping him in right now. He's able to snag that one with his low fielding. But this is four straight innings of getting runs across for the Bombos. Retriever doesn't have it today. Now up to a seven-run lead again after the dog pound were able to push one across last inning. They're looking to swing the bat the same way they just did. And one's going to float to right field for an easy catch for Juan Soto. Seems like M. Bennings does a lot better hitting later in the count. So when he swings on those first pitches, they, they are strikes a lot of the time, but they're just not going anywhere. That's a tough curve on the lower corner, and he is able to take advantage of that one. Oh, no, Corbin Carroll wow. with the high speed. He's able to get the slide, and that one hurts. You think you're going to get a runner on right there. Yeah, you desperately need some runners. There's a good little swing. He's been able to hit that low and away curveball just the way he did right there pretty often. See if Spluto starts to stay away from that pitch now. Good eye from M. Bennings right here. That one finds his own. He's also able to put it up the center. He's got two outs, but he's got two on. Looking to have a two-out rally, and he needs it. And Golden Retriever's up again. Is he going to leave him in? Oh, come on. M. Bennings. Maybe that's his favorite dog. I guess so. I mean. <laughs> and the Golden Retriever does not help out. Decides to keep him in again on a questionable decision with a chance to put some runs on the board. And then gives up a hit. And his first batter up. Golden Retriever really struggling on the mound right now. The shortstop, number seven. Yeah, we might need an investigation after this game into Golden Retriever and what his relationships are with this baseball club because I'm, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not quite sure I understand the loyalty here. Yeah, like you said, I don't really know the upside. That game is not too early for you to get your bullpen stretched out. And it's a good bullpen to boot. I mean, that's the thing. He is able to get two outs right here, though. If he's able to get the pitcher out right here, it'll be the first inning. He hasn't given up a run, but this pitcher does have a home run on the day. Not able to do the same. He floats that out, and finally a clean inning for Golden Retriever. He doesn't help out at the plate, but he finally shows up and shuts him down in the fifth on the mound. Yeah, yeah, the one thing I'll say is, is <laughs> you got to love the confidence in his own offense uh, from M. Bennings, but um, it's going to be tough against, uh, you know, Pseudo doesn't give up a lot of runs. What, what did we say his ERA is for the year? Like They were both around 2-5. Yeah, you're getting into the last four or five innings now. You can score seven runs, but... It's not much longer you're going to have this. Well, I say it might not be much longer. He's going to have this low velo pitcher in there, but I guess he's struggling to hit it. Pseudo might run this guy a full game, only at 45 pitches here in the fifth. 
Couple of good cutters back to back on the outside and he watches them both. Three in a row now. Good eye from Mbenning. Oh, just missed. Oh, look at that. Wow. Four in a row. Will he swing at this one? And he does, but it doesn't go anywhere. Reyes is able to put it away. Another shutdown inning for the Bombas. Looking good on both sides right now. Now back the center field, number seven, Corbin Carroll. Another butt from Carroll, as you'd expect. It seems like every time he puts it down first base, he gets out, but every time he puts it down third base, he's safe. He's definitely good at hunting. It just depends what direction he's able to push, push it. Yeah, I, I, I'm thinking anytime you see Bunter up there, just burn the ball way inside every every time. It's going to be hard to push it down third. And they rarely will make it down first base, even if they're sprinters and Bunters. Easy jumps and good speed. He's going to be able to get there easily. We'll see if he tries to take third. We saw him do it last game. Oh, no. Goes for the jump. I don't think he needed to, and it went past his glove, and now... Two Third on and a good batter up to the plate. The four or five hole, the strongest batters for this team. He's able to hit a good shot to left field. Not going to be good enough, though. A home run here gets this into rum rule territory, and this is a really good batter at the plate. Golden Retriever composed has done really well for him this game. He would be tense for sure. He's got to get one more out right now. Rio count, see if he attacks him here. Oh. Just over the second baseman's glove, and he's going to get another run across. He's going to go towards second. We'll see how the diddle plays right here. We saw it last game, and the same outcome, a diddle between first and second and third and home, and he gets them both back safely. Wow. Yeah, seems like he can take every bag he wants. Pitcher's tense. His stats are not looking too hot. Now a 2-0 count on Diaz. 3-0 count. Mean, yeah, get him out of here. Yeah, you got to wonder how much Sudo paid in Bennings to keep this pitcher in. Number seven. It's got to be some sort of side betting. Yeah, I would think Vegas is going to look into this. Still keeps him in. Oh, my. Oh, no, and that's going to score two. That's going to push it into forfeit territory. Now batting. And the golden Back retriever. Jose Another Trivino. inning giving up runs. And he still is going to keep him in. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, well, it's 11 to 1 now in the bottom of the six. This is your second game of XBL match of the week after the Bombas. Had a comeback and one by one run in that first game. They're out to a 10 run lead now. And the dog pound have to produce runs right here. This game's going to be over. Yep, definitely now or never. Number 21. Her ball finds the top of the zone. Good pitch. Pokes that one right field. That's going to help. We'll see if he can snag two. Soto misplays it over there, but he stutters at first. He's going to be stuck over there at first now. Yeah, I, I think lack of speed <laughs> kind of kept him tethered to the pole there. And Benning showing a little life, getting somebody on. Is that one going to stay fair? It's not. It's going to be foul. Cocker Spaniel looking to make something happen here for his team. They need it now. Good check. Yeah. Great pitch on the inside. Gets him. Looking for another strikeout. Now you're down to possibly your last out. Dog Pound trying to keep their team alive here in the sixth inning. Quick pitching and gets lucky on his location on a red reticle. Yeah, you don't want to walk anybody here. Mm, we got a full count now, two outs. And as long as he fields it cleanly, and he does, and that's going to be the game. Much different than the first one. We see a quick rum roll from the Bombas and a sweep. And that's big to shake up the standings, as it looks like Spluto's probably going to jump up to the three-hole. 
And M. Bennings is going to slip down to that four seed. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling in game one that that was, the, I kind of was saying M. Bennings needs to stay positive. That that was his game to win. The second one here, everything from his starting pitcher to the way the game started, it just didn't go his way. He's still a great player. It, it was one of those games, though, it seemed like from early on. Yeah, definitely a questionable decision when it came to his pitching management right there. But nonetheless, that's what he chose to do, and Spluto was able to take advantage of it. And Spluto was able to get the sweep on Match of the Week. We see a lot of splits on Match of the Week because the league office does a great job lining up really, really good matchups for us, really competitive matchups. But big shout-out to Spluto and the Bombas right there jumping on M. Bennings early. Pretty similar to what M. Bennings did to Spluto early, but... He wasn't able to come back in the same fashion. And like I said, this is going to shake up the standings because they were one, they were one seed apart. Spluto jumps into your top three now, and then Bennings is going to fall to four or five. Yeah, and, and no shame in, in, in the performance here. Um, M. Bennings was, was a, a hair's breadth away from splitting this series against uh, Spluto, who I think if you actually look at the win percentage, is number one right now. So... You know, it was a good showing. Obviously, the second game got away from him, and that, that's going to happen sometimes. But um, still, when you, when it comes to the playoffs, I think um, the dog pound's going to be a tough out. Spluto's, Spluto needs to set his eyes for a championship here. I know we, we have Lazy out there. We've got Mama June June. We've got the Flash. Uh, Ox playing out of his mind, so it's not going to be easy. But Nonetheless, um, you, we just saw what the Bombas can do when they really lock in. And I don't care if you're lazy or flat or whoever, that's, it's not going to be easy <laughs> to beat somebody who's bunting, stealing a base and, you know, doing a bunch of monkey shines. Every time they get caught between bases, they seem to wiggle out. I mean, it, 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 it does kind of add up, you know, he's a smart player. Yeah. Really smart player. We definitely saw that the way he was able to take advantage of the base pass in that second game. But like you said, regardless of the outcome, both of these guys are looking to get a trophy. They've got their names on the cup because they both have championships, but now they're looking to get the XBL championship, which I'm sure everyone would agree is the most difficult thing to achieve because of the competition in the league and because of the skill, the fact the top players in the world are here. But both of these guys are very capable of doing it. We saw both of them hit well we saw both of them locate pitches it's just two great players running into each other it's hard to it's hard to lock anyone down to that 2-5 ERA that they both had coming into this game but it, it was a good set regardless both sets tonight AAA and XBL gave us four good games both of the back end matchups game twos got a little bit out of hand but regardless we had some good games for the XBL match of the week and yeah both both of these guys they're looking to stay in the top five of those standings, try to get into the top five of the power rankings and see what they can do the rest of the year. So really, really fun games. Missed. It was good to be with you as always. You have any parting words before I get us out of here? Yeah, just, uh, uh, I knew I was forgetting a player up there at the top wishbone, uh, another player that, um, you know, is, is in the conversation along with these, I might be forgetting even another one, but for sure, wishbone, a top three player at the moment. Um, but there's about five or I think at least six up there at the top, uh, that, you know, are championship type players that are going to really be rough. So I think we're looking at a fantastic season. And then of course, triple, triple A is, is really flat. So, um, uh, Snow, Eddie, Ricks, you know, uh, the new guy, um, Billy. There's a bunch of players that, that, that could, could win it. I mean, in AAA, we, it's not unusual to see someone come from a 10 or 11 seed, but in XBL, you don't see that. So I think you it would be one of those top six or seven uh, players probably. Yeah, yeah, I agree. The XBL, I think the, the top six is – where you're going to look to see who might have a, ch have a chance to beat Lazy and win a championship. I think the parity is a little bit better this season in the XBL than it's been in a minute. And Spluto did a great job showcasing tonight that he deserves to be in that championship material talk and deserves to be in that top six where we find our true contenders up there in the XBL. So 
really good showing from both guys tonight. Really fun match of the week. Miss, thanks for jumping in and doing all four games tonight after Ox had to take care of something. I'm always happy to be in the booth with you. It's always fun, but y'all watch out. Get your games in this week. Watch out for the next match of the week post. We're into the meat of the season now. It feels like it just started, but we're in week three, and this is where things really start to settle down, and you start to see league-wide who's, who's the top contenders and who's the pretenders. So get your games <laughs> in. Don't get too many in. You want to be warmed up for the playoffs. But we're into the heart of season 17, and so far it's been great. So, yeah, missed. It was good talking with you tonight. Good broadcasting, good matches of the week. I'll catch you all in the Discord. Y'all look out for the league office post. Catch you all next time.